Okay, it's a Thomas & Friends merchandise video. I'm going to investigate my collection of Thomas & Friends backpacks, things that you may have packed your lunch into, things from the fairly recent years, and things from the glorious, glorious past. There's some knockoff things in here as well. Can you tell the real from the fake? Very important to understand that. There's going to be some great memories in here for many of you. And hopefully along the way we're going to learn something about this wondrous merchandise and ask ourselves how much is it really worth. Okay, let's do it! This video was made just prior to a number of disasters that hit the part of town where I live. We had this massive hailstorm. Let's be reminded of the hailstorm. Okay, that was bad, wasn't it? But one hour after the house storm, we had this massive rainstorm. Let's be reminded of the massive rainstorm. Okay, this is like tropical depression rain. It is just pelting down and it's coming in in waves. It's extremely cold and it is extremely dark. Oh man, it is just horrible to watch, but there's also, oh, something that's pulling me in towards it is just bad. Whoa, wait, woo! So after that rainstorm, apart from massive flooding in the garage, there was a lot of water that came down through the roof and affected a lot of things in my garage, and that's where I make my videos. But we've had multiple rainstorms since this time. It doesn't seem to stop. Let's take a look at another rainstorm. Can you see the, the way the wind is pushing the rain? There are people still driving this. Get off the road! You idiots, get off the road! I don't know what they're doing driving in this! Uh, whoa! So much wind! It's, I've just never seen rain move like this. That's what's so unusual about it. Oh man! Very scary. It's a very, very scary thing to watch. Woo! The people are still driving in there! Oh Holy mackerel! Oh my god, there are people stopping! Oh man, this is really bad! This is really bad! There's gonna be a stack of damage! Okay, that was more like a hurricane or a cyclone, apart from being a massive tropical depression. I think a lot of my viewers are wondering, Leo, why aren't you doing certain types of videos? But they're not looking at the other videos where I'm talking about the problems of my house and the storms that we've had. Uh, please understand that the area where I make my videos has had a lot of water damage, and it's going to take some time, if not months, or maybe half a year, to get this right again. So sure, it's one thing to have one severe weather event happen to you, but we've had layers of them going on in the summer that we've had in Australia, in the part of town where I live. A curious collection of items here, some interesting dates when we take a look inside these bags. If I didn't pick these up from my local charity shop when it was up and running, much of this stuff would have just ended up in the dumpster. Put it this way, no one really wanted to buy this stuff second hand. The trickiest thing is, where do I start here? Which bag will I pick off first? I should pick off the one I've got a double up of. And it's this Team Steam bag here. I've got two of these, so I'll grab these two and I'll clear the rest from the table. Okay, this is nice. I've got a little Thomas Wooden Railway Thomas in there, so you get a scale of this. Uh, these bags will tell a story when we start to look at these more closely. There's like a set of stamps there, Thomas, James and Percy. And when we look further down the bag, it says Team Steam, and there's Thomas, James and Percy again. It's very nice. There's more of a little lunch bag than anything else. You can see that I paid a dollar for these. That's how much they were in the charity shop. But when you start to take a look inside these bags, well, the Thomas love starts to be revealed. Let's take a look at this one first. What's going on inside? There's a licensing tag there. Thomas and Friends trademark 2010. My crikey, that was a while back. And on the other side is information to who made this bag and also made in China. So it's always important to find these tags to work out whether this is genuine or not. What I notice about this bag here is look how pristine it is on the inside. And it's not until we take a look at the inside of the other bag we see this one's really been chopped up. So this has been well loved. There's a lot of Thomas love, a lot of Thomas lunches going on in there. Look at that, it's all been punctured and everything else. So yes, from the outside they look fairly similar, didn't they? But it's when you take a look at the inside is where you start to see which one's a keeper and which one's the one you would throw away. 
Okay, the next bag is a little backpack. I know all about this bag because this used to belong to my daughter. Do you think it's real or do you think it's fake, hey? Hmm, can you tell? Maybe a clue is looking very carefully at what's going on inside that cloud. There's, well, a couple of anomalies going on. This bag would at least be 10 years old. Uh, I know it got a lot of use. The zippers got used a lot. And if I look inside, well, there's no tags or anything. So yes, if you worked out, it's actually a knockoff bag. Uh, none of the stitching has really come undone. It is, like I said, it has been used quite extensively. And I was actually surprised how well this stood up. It's covered in mold. I don't know why it's covered in mold. Maybe it got packed away and it's a little bit damp. Uh, but um, yes, this is a knockoff bag. It was used very extensively and I thought to myself, wow, will this stand the test of time? How much use could I get from this? Well, I'll tell you what, it has done pretty darn well. On the zippers that had this rubberized button and it says Island of Soda or a little relief there of Thomas and it was all nice and soft and it helped you operate the zippers. Yes, yeah, a curious little thing considering it's a knockoff. I remember purchasing this at the Dark Side Markets when I was buying knockoff Thomas and Friends toys. It was very cheap. I think it was about $10. Even though it says trademark there, I do not believe this is a licensed bag. And I'm saying that because really I should be finding the tag inside here. When I bought this, it should have also had a tag on one of the zippers on the outside. And you might be screaming, oh, but Leo, it looks so real and it looks so good. But I do believe that this was a knockoff and really it was too cheap. It was bought in the wrong sort of place, yet the bag has proven to me to be, well, a little bit better than what I expected. Okay, the next bag is one I purchased. It was only a couple of years back now. Do you think this is real or do you think it's knockoff? Can you tell by just looking at the artwork there? Hmm, what do you think? I'll tell you something, it doesn't feel as nice as that bag I bought for my daughter many years ago. It feels very plasticky and maybe I'll give it away, hey, we'll turn it around and you might find something that will give us a little bit of confidence. Okay, so it's Thomas and Friends backpack and if I look at the back here, it's in very, very small font. It says, well, 2013 era. But apart from that there that could easily fall off, there's also a tag sewn into the inside of the bag just there. Maybe the easiest way to see that is to rip it out of the bag. Thomas and Friends on one side and the other side it says, uh, blah, blah, 2013. But there's something about this bag that um, didn't quite gel with me. There's really nothing going on there that excites me. Uh, maybe you're seeing it a bit differently. I don't know. To me, it just doesn't feel like a quality build. It just feels a little bit too cheap and nasty. And I'll be honest here, I don't quite like the graphics that's going on on that backpack. Okay, another Thomas and Friends backpack. Nice and bright. Nice Thomas there. Thomas and Friends cloud. What do you think? Of this bag here hey do you think it's something from the recent history something from a bygone era is it real or is it fake thomas and friends cloud has a trademark there but you'll find the knockoff stuff also has that i can see galane thomas 2004 next to the cloud 2004 that was some time ago but i think we can find even an earlier date when we start to take a look inside this bag and if i can get into one of the tags that tag there is saying wow 2001 so seeing that there, uh, this is a sort of bag that possibly some of my viewers who are in their teenage years now, or maybe older, would have had a bag like this uh, going to school and being very Thomas and Friends proud. Yes, it's uh, rather nice and it is sort of very, very different to the sort of Thomas and Friends bag that we see getting around these days. I'm going to bring this bag into this conversation because I think this is a great illustration to the dark side and how... They try to fool you, and there's obviously uh, major problems going on here, if you know what you're looking at here. I've actually spoken about this bag before. Uh, I use this bag a lot, and I've just seen how rough and tough it is. It's got a little uh, zipper there for tea on it. It's got a Thomas from France cloud there, and you can see it's got a trademark TM on it as well. Have you seen what's wrong with this bag? <laughs> it's half comical. Well, there's the cold bunker there. Okay, the driver's cab, but look where they put Thomas's face. Dun, dun, dun! Yes, Thomas's face there should be up this end here. So it's all been made back the front. It's uh, very dark side. There was no tags inside this. I actually used this as a camera bag. That's why I've got that inside there. And strangely enough, this is standing the test of time. I've been using this for a couple of years now. 
But I think it's a great example of when people say, oh, if you see trademark on the Thomas & Friends cloud, it's a legitimate thing. Well, no, this here was bought at the dark markets. It's been made back the front. And, you know, it's very sort of dark side Thomas & Friends. But, you know, in a funny way, it's not that bad. The next backpack, ooh, real or fake? Well, I'll tell you this, it's a real one. Thomas, Blue Mountain Crew. I can see Scarlowe, Luke and Reneas there on top. I remember picking this up uh, when it was heavily discounted. Uh, hmm, I wonder why. It came with a water bottle as well, but the silly parts of this one was the water bottle wasn't Thomas and Friend themed. And it's just, I don't know, it is just really, really cheap built. The same with the feel of this bag. Um, it's not like the earlier stuff. It'd be the best way I could say it. Maybe I've really got to go and give this to a child and see how long it lasts. And then, uh, you know, maybe I could really talk about it. That's the tag that came with this. Okay, and on there you might see it's 2013. And also on the inside, uh, somewhere it's going to say 2013 Galane, blah, blah. I don't know, the stuff from more recent years, um, I think graphically it's a bit messy. It's a bit too busy. It just doesn't do it for me. I mean, maybe that's okay there. But it's just the feel of this bag. It just doesn't feel like you know, the quality that I was feeling in some of those earlier designs. And when I take a look at this water bottle, I nearly said ratty water bottle. There's some fairly sharp uh, sort of plasticky edges on this. You know, I don't like it. Um, that's a bin job for me. Okay, the next one is a little lunchbox. Bust my buffers. It's sort of cute, isn't it? Rather a nice graphic there. And if I go down, we'll see Thomas and Friends. This one came through the charity shop, that's where the price would have been. That's the flip side of this. What do you think, real or fake? Well, we can take a look inside here. It hasn't had much Thomas love. It looks pretty clean. Let's take a look at the tag here. This is the tag. It's a bit blurry printed. It says the same on both sides. Thomas and Friends Cloud, their trademark, copyright Galane, blah, blah, blah. Also something, Victoria, phone number and fax number as well. Yes, yeah, so it's tricky when you don't get a date or something, and maybe uh, by looking at the graphics on this, it starts to reveal its age. I hope someone in the audience has one of these and can give me a reference date to this. I'm saying this is real, and I'm saying this because of the way that this product feels. It's a little bit too nice um, to be a knockoff, but then again, sometimes a knockoff realm can, can do a nice thing as well. Yes, I'll need the audience help on that one. Bust my buffers, it's actually not bad. Okay, the next one is a backpack. It certainly had a bit of Thomas Love. It's been pre-owned and pre-loved, which is nothing wrong with that. I can see on the side here, it's got like a Starlight Star. That might be from the Starlight Foundation. Okay, it's a bit grubby. Well, that's great to see. It has been loved. Let's take a look at that tag. There's the tag, Thomas and Friends, blah, blah, 2009. And I'll tell you what, 2009 wasn't yesterday. Okay, so of course it's always made in China, but maybe I'm starting to understand what I like and dislike about these backpacks. I don't like it when they do these plasticky vinyl finishes on them. I prefer it if it's material. Uh, maybe you like it for the fact that it's all glossy. And maybe the graphic, when it's less busy and less ridiculously stylized, I prefer something a bit more conventional. Yes, um, really, uh, to be honest here, there's no value in that bag. The next one, it's a Thomas & Friends backpack. It is a smaller scale, but can you see a problem going on there? Something's not quite right. Well, no, the cloud's okay, but I've got a sneaky suspicion that when they put Thomas on the print there and sewed this together, well, he's all skewed to this side. And believe me, I've tried to pull the bag front piece there and pull him across, but he's stuck there. Nevertheless, this bag has got a nice charm. It's all made of material. There's no vinyl plastic thing going on here. Got some Velcro tabs there. I can imagine you're putting your Thomas toys in here going off to your relative's house. There's a tag in there. Let's take a look at that. There's the tag. Thomas and Friends trademark 2007. My crikey's, we are getting old, aren't we? If you're curious, the other side says that. Made in China. It's a nice bag, a little bit small. I like it for the fact it's got some very basic graphics. I think I prefer bags like this, but it is sad that Thomas has been put a little bit skew. And if I get a ruler here, you'll see how much it's out. It's basically two and a half inches from the edge there to Thomas's side. And on the other side here, it's cranking up to nearly three inches. So he's basically a quarter of an inch uh, to that side, a bit too much. If we could just drag him across a quarter of an inch, well, everything would be fine and dandy. 
Okay, this next one is a little bit different. It took me a little while to work out what this is, and what's inside this sort of gives the game away. It's not a backpack, it's not a lunchbox. Let's open it up and let's see what this is. That is if I can find where the zipper's gone. Okay, here it is here. Yes, thank goodness there's some stuff left inside here because it did give the game away to what this is all about. Ooh, yeah, let me just turn it over. Okay, that's more like it. Do you see what this is now? It's sort of a clever idea. You put your pens and pencils there and your art supplies there, I dare say. And yes, you can put your little sketchbook here that you can do all sorts of stuff in here. And this is something from the charity shop. So it's already been pre-loved. Obviously by someone quite young. But I was actually, in a funny way, I quite like for the fact it's sort of frozen in time. There's someone's young little heart is embedded in this piece. I haven't said the date, but do you remember when Thomas was made to look like this? Hmm, it was actually some time ago. And also notice there's some artifacts here. No pun intended. There is a sharpener there, there is an eraser there that says all aboard on one side and on the other side it says full steam ahead, rather nice isn't it? And I also notice there are some pencils, what actually came with this on how supplied it was I don't know because obviously I didn't get this from you, I can only assume that this, this pad came with it and that's a big assumption there but let's take a look at the date there's the Thomas and Friends Cloud, and also says 2009 by Hunter Leisure, Proprietary Limited. Do you remember Hunter Leisure? I spoke to them about tags that were on knockoff plush toys, and boy, did they tell me a story. Let's just check the back of this book to see if there's a copyright on it as well. Okay, there's one there. I can see it. That's good to see. Uh, copyright 2009, Ghislaine, blah, blah. Well, seeing that, I'm much happier now. Maybe you had one of these, and if you did have one of these, well, you'd be a much older person now. Maybe you can tell me exactly what came with this and exactly what you got up to when you had one of these. Okay, the next one. Well, it's actually a bunch of bags inside a bag here. Can you tell what's going on there? Very, very unusual graphic there. Um, Diesel 10's there, so what's that telling you? Well, maybe that Thomas Cloud doesn't look quite right as well. Uh, yes, it's a knockoff bag, and maybe that graphic there is also screaming knockoff to you. How much did I pay for this? Uh, basically, $14 for this uh, nasty, nasty knockoff. Probably the dark side markets when I was buying the Thomas toys that I used to look at on my channel. The dark side ones. We stopped doing the dark side ones because I was having lots of trouble with Silly Tube, wasn't I? Inside this bag are more examples of nasties. Let's take a look. Okay. There's one here, it says Thomas and Friends, it's got a bit of a tag like that on it. I'm not going to spend too much time on this. It says go, Thomas, go on the other side. It's got graphics there that just don't look right. They're all washed out in the face. It's It just feels cheap and nasty because I've got it in my hand. I can tell you all about it. There's never any tags in these things. Okay, apart from made in China down there. Um, just rotten to the core and a really unusual size as well. It gives you no joy. What else is going to come out of here? Whoa! -ho! Here's another one. And this is how they come normally in these sort of horrible noisy cellophane bags. How much do they pay for that one? It's basically $8 there. Let me get out of this bag. Whoa! Okay, this is actually a lunchbox. There's some very strange graphics going on in this one as well. All sorts of bits and bobs and you'll probably have a bit of a giggle fest. But in a funny way, it's actually not that funny. Uh, because this is a knockoff and the money that was uh, used in purchasing this doesn't go back to the Thomas and Friends Empire. Mind you, some of you may <laughs> may like that going on. Because there's a lunchbox we've actually got inside here, yes, yeah, just some boxes that don't say Thomas and Friends anything. Normally the Thomas and Friends stuff actually has Thomas and Friends logos on it. In fact, that feels like a better bottle than the licensed one that I, <laughs> I had before. Won't say any more on that. Yes, um, strange, isn't it? Very strange. It just doesn't look right. And I think there's actually another one in here. This is like a knockoff Thomas and Friends miracle. Oh, here it comes. Yeah. Thomas and Friends there. Uh, the graphic like that. It just looks wrong, doesn't it? Thomas there, but the cloud's been cut off. Very strange. Um, awkward looking. And that's the dark side for you. The back of it looks like this. Um, often they've got like generic, well, nothing tags of just a number. It's probably like an item number, and there's never any licensing tags on the inside there. Yes, uh, that's a knockoff. That definitely was a knockoff. Uh, that was a very strange knockoff, wasn't it? And then, of course, this one here. Yes, also a nasty, nasty, nasty knockoff. 
And maybe what I should do is, with the knockoff stuff here, to show you how poorly it's made, is if you just get to the edge here, it just rips open really, really easily, okay? Uh, don't get sucked in by this stuff, it is just really bad quality. You can see how easy it just rips open there. It's all going to be the same. In fact, I'm having fun doing this. If I get past the zip there, look at that. I'm the man of steel, but if I get a real McCoy bag in here, this is one we've looked at in this video, this is a real Thomas toy, or should I say bag, it's much harder to get going here. I can get it to go, but I've got to put a lot more effort in to rip this up. And believe me, it's much, much more difficult to pull apart a real bag versus this absolute knockoff rubbish. I know, you want to see the Diesel 10 one ripped up as well, don't you? Man of Seal, look at this. Rah! Really, really rubbish builds every time. Okay, this next one, it's a backpack. It's very different in many ways. You can see how much it was on offer in the charity shop, 50 cents. Yes, what do you think about this one? How old do you think this is? It's all sort of vinyl-y plastic, and normally I don't like that. But maybe when you see the age of this, maybe you'll start to be, you'll be sucked in, hey? I try to work out what is this. Is this like, um something you take out when it's rainy, it's like a, a, a backpack for rainy days or is it something that you take down the beach that's the sort of thing you take down the beach you know, or something which is waterproof yes, what do you think hey, and what do you think of that graphic there how old's this bag not many people would pick this one, look at that there, 2001 this bag is not a spring chicken yeah, seen the Brit Allcroft uh, wording in there as well. Going back in time, sometimes uh, bags like this had toys in it. Be it Thomas Wooden Railway or whatever. I know Mega Blocks used to do things like this in bags like this. But I'm sure in the end my audience will know more about this bag than I do. And that's what this video is all about. My crikey's, I tell you what, not many people would have picked the age of this bag. Okay, the next bag, it's a backpack. It's actually quite tall and it's got some basic graphics. So what's that telling you? Hopefully we're learning basic graphics means an earlier period of Thomas and Friends time, yes, 2002. I much prefer things like this. Uh, it's more the colour of the bag is saying Thomas and, you know, fancy graphics everywhere. That's how much it was going for, but the, these bags do not sell when they're in the charity shop. They just sat there, and in the end I just picked them up. It, uh, yes, it's quite tall, a long sort of bag, uh, black on the back. It does have a label inside. We'll have a quick look at that. There's a label there. It's actually very similar to the one that was in that all plasticky bag. I can see it says 2002. So yes, I can see this bag has had a little bit of love, but not enough, is what I would say. It's in pretty nice condition. It's nice and clean, but there's something about the earlier stuff that I really, really like. Next one's a bit of a strange one, but then uh, strange is nice when you start to understand what it is, and the audience will help me here. It's like a little promotional bag. It might have been something from a day out with Thomas thing. It does say 2011 Thomas blah blah down there. And really it's this sort of bag which is really a throwaway sort of bag. There's nothing on the other side. It's just got the Thomas print there. It's different. I sort of like it. We're going back in time a bit to take a look at the bag my daughter used when she was very young. Remember I said that is a knockoff bag. Well, when I purchased that bag there, I also purchased this bag here as well. And it's almost a kissing cousin of the bag that my daughter used. You can see much of the graphics here and the face is what you will see going on in this bag here. Yeah, it starts to unpick it, doesn't it, hey? But this bag here, because it hasn't been used, it's in pretty good nick. It has just been laying in my workshop uh, gathering dust. You can see how much I paid for it there, $10. This bag's a great example of, well, how nasty and naughty the dark side can be. A lot of people would be fooled in seeing this, thinking it's a legitimate Thomas product. In the markets where I buy it, often they will fill it up with uh, scrunchy plastic like that to fill it out. Uh, you can buy them and they're sort of flat, but when you look inside there, there's no tag, just like my daughter's bag. It, sadly, it is just a knockoff product. It is nothing but trouble, but nevertheless, lots of people get fooled when they see something that looks this good. I know one thing, my daughter's bag was used a lot. It doesn't show that much wear and tear considering how much it was used. I'm just going to try and see what quality this one is. Just by ripping it here, and I'm just going to put some effort in here. Oh! I did get it, but it, it was feeling a bit stronger made than the other ones that I ripped apart. Nevertheless, it's nasty, nasty knockoff. So if you are struggling whether my daughter's bag was real or fake, well, maybe you have a bit more of an understanding of exactly what it is. Okay, the next Thomas backpack, boy oh boy, we are moving into a different Thomas era when we take a look at this one here. 
This is a very interesting one. It's got a graphic here which is almost 3D. Thomas looks like he's popping forward against the engines that are beside him. His steam also looks like it's floating away from the background. I don't know how they've done that. I don't know whether it's coming through on YouTube. There's like a sheen on this. And again, it's very hard whether that is being seen on YouTube. Like It looks like a metallic diamondy type crusty front on that. I know that was a strange description, but that's how it looks. And it also feels different as well. Uh, I'll tell you what, it came with a price tag as well. And that is how much I paid for it. There you go, 35 bucks. I purchased this bag from where I had that Store Escape Salty episode. It says 2015 there, but when I take a look at the tag on the inside, it's a different date. I can see 2014 in there. Maybe if I was really keen on this sort of merchandise, uh, this would be a nice example to keep of a certain era. Uh, there's a nice things about this. It does have an insulated front area here, so you could put your, your lunch, be it hot or cold, in there, and it's not going to deteriorate, I hope. Uh, that's a feature that not many other backpack bags have, so yes, uh, there is some nice things about this one. Okay, this next bag is, is quite different, and I think it's a curious one. It's got a bit of a clear panel here. Uh, there's Thomas there looking lovely, very classic looking Thomas. It's got some interesting artwork going on inside there at all different angles. It was a bag that I picked up for a dollar from the charity shop. So yes, where would you need a bag where you had a clear panel like that? Is this bringing back memories for you? It is actually from a bit of a bygone era. On the zippers here, it's got little pictures of the trains. Rather cute. I noticed on the other zipper area, there's James featured there. You can see there's a bit of rust on this as well. That's giving away that it's a bit old. Maybe a major clue to you would be maybe soon all our luggage will become see-through. I said the magic word there. Let's take a look at the tag inside. There's the tag 2006, hey yes, airport luggage, oh yeah. Quite curious bit of marketing. It has had some Thomas love. I can see this bag has been used, but its style is actually something that I quite like. Even though it's got that plasticky front, I don't mind the look of that beautiful Thomas luggage bag. Okay, another smaller cute backpack. Thomas number one all aboard and that style of uh, Thomas caricature there. Maybe you didn't like it when they were doing that. Yes, uh, it's the sort of bag you'd have at kindergarten. It is 2008 if I go and take a look at the tag in there. So as I'm making this video, it's 10 years old. Yes, uh, it was sort of the silly time for the artwork on the bags, the anime type Thomas jumping out, bulging eyes. And of curious interest, I've got a second one of these. It's the same sort of artwork, isn't it? And Thomas is trying to jump up at you looking really stupid, but this one doesn't have any art stuff in it So if I had one of these land on me without the art stuff, I would have struggled to understand what that is about So that's 2009 and of course that one there was the Wondrous 2008 And maybe some people would say the artwork got rather silly from that point on. We'll move on to our next bag Okay, well we're going back in time and this bag is very, very nice. Maybe bringing back some really nice memories for you. There's a lovely print of Thomas the Tank there without bulging eyes or trying to jump up at you. And I noticed just around the Thomas and Friends cloud there, there's a little bit of wear and tear at the top of the bag. It's a nice bag. It's actually a kissing cousin to a bag that I had on earlier in the video. I dare say you put your drink bottle in there, a lovely tea there. It is nice and bright. Mind you, I used to always think that brighter coloured bags showed the dirt. Yes, and there's also another little pouch there. That's a larger pouch on that side. Let's take a look at the tag inside. There's the tag that hopefully never lies. Britt Olcroft, Thomas Limited, 2001. Time stands still for nobody, and this is going to be the very scary fact about bags from this era. If you remember this bag and had one of these bags, there's a very good chance at the time of when I uploaded this video to YouTube, you're going to be in your late teens or early 20s. That's the fact there about time. Yeah, so does it bring back some hardcore memories? Let me compare this bag with that previous one from a couple of years later. Oh my crikey, it's a classic chalk and cheese shot, 2001-2008. Where did it all go wrong? It is just amazing how different these two bags are, and there's only seven years between them. It's almost like they're from two totally different franchises. Maybe a very simple question is which one of those two bags catches your eye? Which one would you prefer to wear if you were going to wear a Thomas bag? I know which one I'd be wearing, and if I jump forward another five years and go back to a previous bag we looked at, that's 2013. Now look at the difference between that design there and that design there. It is astonishing how things have changed. 
Maybe astonishing isn't the right word. Maybe it's scary how much the graphics have changed on these bags. So up on the table there, I've just grabbed a bag we looked at earlier. That's also 2001 era. Just fantastic looking merchandise bags back then, wasn't it? Absolutely stunning. In the bag here, I've grabbed a few toys from this era as well and around this era. So memories going to come out of the bag here. Yes, the Ertles were around this time. Uh, very much a much loved Thomas and Friends toy. Very much missed. And these are the ones that people like to collect. If you're going to collect Thomas and Friends toys, this is a great thing to start collecting. Mind you, we had Thomas Wooden Railway back then as well. That's a bit of an earlier version there. Number one, wonderful to collect if you know your dates. What else was from this era? Oh, yes. The wondrous take-alongs. It took us a little while to understand the take-alongs and get to love these, but in the end, we started to love them. They had a bit of a moon face. They had a uh, sort of slightly different painting on these versus Taken Plays. They were much, much heavier toys as well. Back when toys were toys. Yes, put it down there. Very much a classic lineup starting here. There's one more to come out of this bag. You know what's going to come out next. It's not Trackmaster 2, I can tell you that. Yes, the Tomy Thomas. Uh, in a way, still available today in the Japanese market, but really nowhere else. A wonderful, wonderful Thomas & Friends toy. Great track system with this as well. Uh, there's one of the Thomas toys you really struggle to fault. Yes, and if I put it down here, it really starts to make a really nice lineup of very much the classic Thomas & Friends toys. But I tell you what, if I pull back here, look at those bags. Very much a classic time for the Thomas & Friends merchandise. I think if we had a time machine, we'd be jumping back to maybe this era of Thomas & Friends, or maybe a little bit earlier as well. But sadly, there's no time machines available for that. Let's move on to the next bag. Okay, the next item, very much something of the more recent times as I'm making this video. It's an insulated lunch bag and there's three items to this piece. Curious here, double T there, Team Thomas, number one, uh, since 45, so that relates to 1945, because Thomas was born just after the Second World War. Looks like he's scraping the side of a tunnel there, there's sparks and stuff going down one side, I'm not exactly sure why. Uh, it comes with a bottle and let's hope it's got some sort of... No. See, that's the problem, isn't it? It needs like a Thomas theme on that. So a themeless bottle. Uh, that on the side there, like a race on. We have a winner's cup there. We hope you've won. Put your name on the back here. This bag belongs to nobody at the moment. And we'll take a look inside here. Nice Velcro thing there. A bit of that. And there's also this inside if I can get it out without having to cut the camera. Oh, yes. There we go. A uh, little lunchbox there. Go! 2016 down there, uh, Thomas is sparking and I can see uh, Percy and James there as well. So would you be proud to rock up to work with something like this or go to school with something like that? Or would you prefer the classics? And also notice in here, uh, all the other things that these people did, I think every franchise on the planet is represented here. This is before PJ Masks, thank goodness for that, eh? Yay, Shopkins! I can see a Shopkins thing there. Yes, um, I don't know. Uh, this is very much the current sort of styling that I see of the Thomas stuff. Um, I don't know, it's not doing it for me. I'm very disappointed. That's twice now I've seen it where the water bottle is just a nothing. Okay, I think we've got to have something on that as well. Yes, uh, the modern stuff, uh, sorry, not doing it for me. Okay, variety is a spice of life. And this bag, it's a bit of a strange one. It says, go, go, Thomas there. It's got a pouch here, but the way this bag opens up is what I find very different. Look at that. See the way it's opened up there? It's like, I've never seen anything like it. Um, it's like a backpack sort of thing because it's got that there. A bit of train sort of stuff going on there, but it, the fact that it, it splays right open is what's very different. Maybe there's a reason for it, but the moment I can't work it out, let's take a look at the tag inside. A tricky one to get to, it says 2011. Hmm, curious. Just by the insides of the bag, it hasn't had much love. It is just a very strange opening style of bag. Maybe people who know bags can explain that one to me. But a very much uh, a different sort of Thomas and Friends bag. Go, go, Thomas. Oh, the next one, it is a little cutie. We like little cuties. It's only small. It's got a nice graphic there of Thomas there. Thomas and Friends cloud looks awesome as well. It's a bag that has a handle on it like that. It's got wheels as well, so you can go and uh, roly-poly it around. It's also got a backpack thing, but I think you'd be wheeling it everywhere. It's actually quite small. You can see by my adult hand there. It would have been for a very young child. Uh, it has had some Thomas love. Uh, that's a nice thing to see. I hate it when I see something 
from a bygone era and there's been no use of it. Let's take a look at the tag. A bit tricky to see this one. It is 2006. It's just prior to the graphics going a bit crazy on this sort of merchandise. So yes, from the mid to early 2000s, we seemed to get the nice graphics on things, didn't we? Uh, do you keep this sort of thing or what do you do? The problem here is because it's been used, it looks a bit tatty. Down at the charity shop, people saw an item like this and it just sat there. And in the end, it just gets thrown in the bin. That's the sad fact about this. Ah yes, there was a time when Thomas and Friends wasn't the only train riding on the rails. There was another franchise called Chuggington. There's Coco, there is Brewster, there is Wilson. Now what is curious about this bag is I've only got one of these up against the many, many Thomas and Friends bags that we've seen in this video. Let's ride the rails, it says there. Uh, I know the area this is from even without looking at the tag. Okay, do you remember when this was about? It wasn't that, put it this way, it wasn't yesterday. There's Wilson there. That's nice, nice and colourful. Okay, there is a Brewster there, and I can also see some personalised stickers on there. So, one thing about this bag, and it's also grubby, I like to keep things as I got them from the charity shop. It has been loved. Okay, I can't say it's got Thomas up because it's a Chuggington bag. Let's ride the rails. Yes, do you remember the year this stuff was about? Let's take a look at the tag. Tricky tag to get to. 2010 was the time. Yeah, yeah, Chuggington was big back then. Oh yes, uh, back then, the Thomas and Friends Empire were very scared that these guys were going to knock them clean off the rails. There were Thomas toys everywhere. It was the battle between the red and the blue, the way I saw in a toy store. But there's only one victor, and I'll tell you what, it wasn't these guys. I haven't seen Chuggington toys in store for many years now. You can have your say of what you think about Chuggington and why it failed or why, you know, things went the way they did. But in a strange way, the Thomas Empire did much better... Uh, with their toys when they had competition. Uh, very curious that this is the only Chuggington bag that I've got versus the many, many Thomas and Friends one was seen in this video. Okay, the next bag is, well, I feel it might be one of my favourite bags, but before we take a look at it, let me have a babble on here. I tried to get what I call the latest bag at the time of making this video, that is a Thomas and Friends bag, and I went to a number of stores and I couldn't find any. Now, maybe the good sign here is they've all sold out. I'm hoping that's the case. Or there might be a supply blockage somewhere along the line. I wouldn't be surprised at all. But um, sadly, I can't show you the latest and greatest thing at the time of making this video. Okay, back on to talking about this bag. It's, um, it's nice. It's an older style bag. I very much like it because it's got this Thomas feature here. You can chug Thomas along the, the lines here. I mean, that sort of novelty goes a long way in my books. There's a nice rainbow there. Harold the helicopter is there. The Thomas and Friends cloud looks nice as well. In fact, it's the sort of graphics that you would see in your little Thomas and Friends children's books. It's more of a sports bag. It's not really a backpack, which is sort of unusual as well. Let's take a look at the back here. If I just flick that over, it says here, you've got a ticket to ride, so you would put your name or something in there. It's a nice idea. And down here it says peep peep, and there's a nice graphic there of Thomas. Busy, super busy. So we can sort of see it's the time before the graphics got sort of silly. It's funny, I think I might connect it to the iPad generation, that 2010 era is when it all got a bit silly. This sky pattern goes over the top of the bag here. Okay, so yes, it's, it's a well thought out bag and let's take a look at the tag inside. Okay, so it's 2008 Galane Thomas Limited, Samsonite Australia. Don't get too excited, it's still made in China. Yes, yeah, so when I see Samsonite, I think of bad company, and I've zipped it up there so you can see properly the nice cloud pattern and some seagulls going across there. And also notice on this, the zippers have got those little tags that I saw uh, going on in some other bags we've seen in this video. Yes, um, this era of bag, very much a time before the graphics sort of went crazy. I, I prefer the standard graphics like that, like a children's book. I like play that Thomas there as well. That's a nice, nice feature, isn't it? Yes, I like that bag a lot, but I'll show you the bags that I probably uh, like the most. It's the stuff really from the 2001 era. Uh, to me, that just looks really nice. It's in nice condition, that as well. Also, this one from the 2001 era, nice bright bag, uh, nice and safe if a child's crossing the road with that on. That's the sort of bag you want on their back. That's a very nice bag, but sentimentally, the bag I'll <laughs> that I like but I shouldn't like that's the bag there that my daughter had when she was very young. It's a knockoff bag. It has stood the test of time. There's nothing ripped or torn on it. She used this quite a bit. I was a bit naughty buying a knockoff bag, but I was doing it as part of a study, I can say. But that bag there, as much as I shouldn't like it, that's one of my favourites. 
I'm hoping this video brought back some very nice memories for you. What I found very interesting was the change of graphics from a certain time period where all of a sudden Thomas seems to want to have bulging eyes or looks like he's crashing and sparking down the rails. It seems that classic Thomas look may never ever come back, but that's the sort of look that I really enjoy looking at. Maybe you can have your say on the sort of Thomas you like to see on this style of merchandise. But if it's anything like the toys, what I've noticed is things tend never to go backwards in time. Maybe Thomas is always going to try and over impress us by looking like he's jumping off the bag, trying to crash, or looking like a total train wreck.